Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Yeah, it's cold out. It's probably somewhere around one degree centigrade. Many of you know this time of year, I kind of avoid trying to bring stuff home. Um, because it's really hard to put stuff away, right? I have a tendency to buy too much stuff all year round, but particularly over the summer. But this time of year, I, I mostly have a lot of trouble putting putting stuff away, as you can see, as I'm on my way to the newest acquisition. And there she is. Um, this is a 2007 SSR pit bike. Um, it was an $80 Craigslist deal, so I guess it's about nine years old, give or take a foot and a half. I don't know how many of those years um, it ran um, and what transpired with it during those years. It seems to have a good size um, jug on it. I'm not, I'm not sure the CCs. I haven't looked it over that crazy close yet to determine that but my guess right off the top of my head is that that is probably 110 cc's I don't know that I'm just going from the looks of it um, the story on it was the guy I got it from bought it with um, two other bikes this is one of three and what he did was he um, got the other two bikes running. He says this thing, he didn't take anything off of it. This thing is more or less in the condition it was when, um, when I got it from him. Um, one could see this one is an electric start and a kick start, right? So I like that. I like having both. Um... It has a hand clutch, and the clutch does appear to be there. The brake um, is not only missing, but it's snapped off. It does have the chain here, but um, that's not normally where chains go. Um, unless it's a spare chain you're bringing home. It's, uh, it's got a wire harness um, <laughs> that has some issues um, but you guys know for Harvey this is no big deal we'll just get rid of all the spare parts um, I don't know if it's in gear or not yeah there's neutral so it does seem to shift um, you guys could see there's a little wear on that sprocket and by that I mean like a lot of wear and there's some wear on the back also whoever worked on it for some reason like took it completely apart and lost parts like this and this they're not normal also it's missing the chain tighteners in the back and the back disc for the brake but these these don't look normal they look like somebody cobbed it up on there um, the starter is not welded it, it did have compression I checked that um, and look what they used for wheel spacers I don't know could you guys see that they use sockets one there and one here. You can see the line on it. Um, yeah, this... So somebody... Somebody, uh... Probably a kid had this thing. My guess. And, uh... By kid, I mean almost anybody younger than me. Uh, which means if you're less than 58, you're a kid. Um, so... It does have the serial number. Nobody welded over it. This appears to be a little better made than my Speed Defies Gravity bike. Um, it is, com from a plastic point of view, it's all there. Um, 
Yeah, the carburetor still has the slide in it and the cable. So I spent 80 bucks on it. If worse comes to worse and the motor is complete crap, which I don't expect, I, I'm sure that I'll, I'll get it running. It's just a matter of how running it is. Um, but let's assume the motor is just just real, real crap. Um, I got $80 into a bike um, that maybe... Um, I mean, everything else is is really there. I gotta, you know, I gotta put it back together again. Even if I in, invest in a front brake assembly and and everything else, I could um, I could up this thing to a Lifran engine and you, you know have somewhere around with my eighty, probably less than five hundred dollars invested. Some people would say um, I would never you know, tie up eighty or uh, $500 in one of these bikes, um, you haven't ridden one. They, they are such a joy. They are so much fun to ride around on. Um, until you ride one, you really, you really can't say that. I'm hoping to put this whole thing together. I'm hoping this engine is, does come back as good and it's not just parts. And that being the case, I'm hoping to have this whole thing running for for less, well, less than 200, closer to 150. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Um, you know, I checked the front suspension is good, right? I checked the back, it's good. So um, this one also might be slightly longer than mine. It might have the little longer arm in the back. So everything depending. My son. Um, what, what am I going to do with it? This one is probably going to move out to Pennsylvania and be with my son. I have to see. I don't know. It's not running yet. Um, and if I have to tie $500 into a motor up, or you, you know, if it go, works its way up toward 500 bucks, it's probably not moving to Pennsylvania. It'll probably end up staying home. Um, and something else will move out to Pennsylvania. So anyway, folks, I really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.